एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई रियली होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर अ प्लांट हॉल वीडियो एज आई मेंशनड इन माय लास्ट वीक्स वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू गाइस दैट आई वेंट टू माय होम टाउन फॉर अ कपल ऑफ वीक्स सो व्हाइल आई वाज देयर आई वेंट टू दिस पर्टिकुलर नर्सरी व्हिच वाज नियर माय प्लेस इट इज कॉल्ड द शॉशंक्स नर्सरी आई बिलीव आई विल आई विल लिंक दैट डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू गाइस वांट टू चेक इट आउट so while i was there last time around 5 months back i was in a hurry so i just quickly went and grabbed from succulents on cactus from there and it just came but this time when i went there I made sure that i spent much time there to check out uh, the variety of plants they have to my surprise they have like a wide range of cactus and succulents and many house plants and air plants so i grabbed into 12 plants this time so i picked out the plants which were i liked it mostly succulents and and few creeper plants and a uh, air plant too let's get right into the video The first plant is a jade plant. I've been wanting to get this uh, plant for a really long time. It is a perfect house plant. You can see here the mother plant is like a really big one and it had two side branches which was like pulling the plant down. So I cut those stems and planted in this separate pot. And it also requires very low maintenance. So the next is a succulent. It is called Echeveria lilacina. I had this plant before but for some reason it could not survive it I think I overwatered it so this time when I saw it I grabbed this plant so my main goal here is to keep most of the cactus and succulents alive I'm still learning how to keep them alive I have no idea like how much to water them or like where to place them do they need the morning sunlight or the evening sunlight I'm really not sure. sure about it and one thing the person who works in the nursery uh, she told me not to overwater any of the cactus and succulent she asked me just to spray it with a sprayer like two days once and these plants will be good to go here i have a four different uh, creeper plants i purchased uh, one or two last time when i went there but i overwatered it and it did not survive so this time i grabbed it and i will make sure that i keep them alive so the first one is called gold moss a stone crop the main reason i purchased it because of its uh, bright green color it will be really good to add or place in between the cactus and succulents and it gives that like freshness to it so the second creeper is called as porchlaker afra it is also known as elephant bush yeah the reason i purchased this particular creeper is because of its green and pink shade you can see the leaves has like a pink end to it and it also has two different shades of green in the leaves there is no need to place it in like direct sunlight it is it will survive well even if you place it uh, in a shade shaded area as well the next two are uh, creepers as well they both are called as calicia repens this one it is like green in color but as it grows and when it is exposed to more light the leaves turns into a purple shade and this one is the pink one this is the one i purchased last time when i visited the nursery you can see the leaves are like pink pink in color when it is exposed to light it turns to this beautiful bright pink shade this particular succulent is called echeveria agavoides i thought this is a black rose succulent because i have not seen black rose directly so i thought since it is like dark in shade i thought this is this is black rose and it as it grows it turns into this dark black color but this is not you can see that the leaves are purple in shade and it is also green in shade in the root the most of the plants i have here like everything is it in its original like nursery packet i have a few empty pots which i will be reporting it later on and i will share it with you guys 
next succulent it is called as Hetchweria harmasi. Yeah, I always wanted to get some uh, cactus and succulents that produces flowers. So this is one of them. It has a green leaves with the red tip and it also produces like bright red flower with yellow tips. So it already produced some flowers and you can see some buds here. Next plant it is called string of pearls i've been wanting to get this particular uh, plant for like quite some time now it is called string of pearls because of these pearl shaped thing here it is perfect in a hanging pot it is perfect as a house plants or an indoor plant it will survive inside the house like once it is placed in a place where it gets at least some bright light. The next two succulent belongs to Echeveria family. Yeah, the first one here you can see it's it's like the basic green one. When I purchased, there was lots of small, tiny pops around this around the mother plant. So I repotted everything. And the second one also belongs to Echeveria family. The main reason I purchased it because of course of its color. It is it is in this bright, beautiful pink shade and it is and the center part is in light green in color i think i have to report it immediately because it is not doing well in here the next succulent it is called Havartia cortata it looks like a zebra cactus but you can see in zebra cactus they have like it has stripes in the leaves but here you can see there is dots I really liked how it looked. Main reason I picked it because it looked like really fresh and healthy and it is in dark green shade apart from my all other succulent. The next succulent is called Sempervivum tectorum. It is also called as common house leek. You can see this looks like an Echeveria cactus but it has a purple tip. The next succulent is called Sempervivum arachnoidum. It is a perfect succulent to grow if you are living in like the coldest part of the world because it can survive in that weather too. I have a similar succulent with me but I just want to grab another one. It was not doing well when I went to my hometown but when I came back to my surprise it is getting healthier but I want to grab in case if that couldn't make it. So this is the perfect succulent if you are living in uh, coldest weather and like the web design this particular succulent has and I really liked it. Next and the last succulent that I purchased this is called as Gasteria and Strongy. It is also called as open book because of it you can see like it looks like an open book. I, I also like wanted to get this particular succulent for like really long time. When I, when I checked online it was like too pricey. The price were like around 500 to 600 rupees and when I visited a nursery near my place even there the price was like too much. But in this particular nursery, she she gave it to me for like 100, 150 or 200 rupees, which is like a really good deal. It is also a really hardy plant and it also requires like very less water and a good sunlight. I really hope you guys found this video useful. Cactus and succulents are perfect to gift someone nowadays. Like I've seen many people had a add a plan to a return gift as well. It is also perfect to gift to kids for their birthdays because it requires very low maintenance even if the kids even if they forget to water it for like a couple of days. It's not a big deal because the plant can survive without watering for at least a week I believe. I really hope you guys found this video useful. Like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Here I have uh, reported everything and this is how it looks. I purchased all the pots, not all the pots, most of the pots from Amazon. And I'm very happy to report everything and give these plants a new home. And this is the air plant that I purchased from that nursery. And this is my first air plant and I think it is doing good so far. And this is one of my favorite uh, garden accessories. It is a watering can and I'm really in love with this watering can. 
again i will link all the products mentioned in the video below including this uh, stand the pots and the water can please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you